What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and it is time to continue the witch walkthrough. Been a little bit of a while, but we need to find out more about the Bree Tree Ancient Ruins. So, money is actually shared between characters. So, what I was thinking, we, we could pick up a few items on this character to help move it along. Um, we did get a better staff, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop running. We got we got to put our new staff on. We got a ultimate stide staff, which is a little bit better than what we were dealing with. But we have all of these belts. I don't actually know how we got all of this crap, but we did get all of this crap. Um, we need to go sell this stuff or sell it on the market. Doesn't really matter. We just need to sell it in some way, some way, shape, or form. Um, we're heading up here to the Bree Tree Ruins. Um, we could make the detour in Calfian over here uh, to hit up the Central Market. I can see where the closest one is. Yeah, the closest one's in Calfian, right on the edge. Let's go ahead and take a little bit of a detour here, and uh, we will list some items as well as pick up some new items for use, and uh, we'll get back out there on our journey. So we have a million dollars to work with on this character, which which is nice which is nice. It's been a little bit of time. Um, I actually wanted to take a quick look. So we have the new like pirate garb, which I actually really like. This is probably the witch one that I would pick up if it would load. Um, but I think I'm gonna hold off instead of having like too much of the same, cause I, cause I like how that looks, but I'm sure we'll be getting more content and new content and eventually there's gonna be an outfit that I just am like, oh my gosh, I gotta have this for my characters. And so I'm gonna hold off instead of getting everything, anything and everything on uh, on my characters. My sorceress, yeah, I'm more willing to just buy stuff and put it on. This character is not going to be like an everyday character, so just wanna make sure I, uh, I'm not spending too much money on pearls. All right, he. Mark, good old marketplace director. Kelfion is big, isn't it? For its size, Central it has market, and let's go ahead think. and send what we can to the market here. It's doing that glitch again, where it's. I don't get why it does this. You gotta like back out and run around. The market price here is quite different from others, isn't it? Just, oh my gosh, dude. This this is the part that really pisses me off about the market. Firstly, tell me what you're looking for. Okay, well, we can at least list that item we sent. 27000 I mean, it's not a whole lot of money, but it's contributing something to this character. And we can put our black stones in there to save inventory space. So I want to just send those to the market. We can send this stuff as well, just to save on inventory space. But I really want to send all of this stuff, because we can list it all. And it's back to being stupid again. Back out. Let's go ahead and list you those items. The laws of Kelfion when you are here. We have four of those. Let's list them for 35000 should probably... I'm going to list these. I can always buy them back later. 21. Give me 600 grand. I'm going to go ahead and list them. I don't really need them right now. How much could I get for these? So if I sold 121, get 25 million for them. It's actually not bad. Okay, that doesn't have full durability. These just are being stupid. What is my worst gear? I mean, I could probably use a better dagger. Better, way better earrings. Uh, just better everything. I mean, just nothing, nothing too good. Is big. Let's take a look at staffs and see if there's an, an appropriately, appropriately priced one for me. Let's see. Like the Stid Staff. We might be looking at a stid staff. There's a lot of those posted, which means they're probably fairly priced. So let's go ahead and pop open. Oops, wrong. Don't want the ultimate stid staff. Let's look at the ray. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's why. It's because it doesn't have any upgrades. The Celeth, 16 mil, gets us a pretty high damage. Celeth staff. As well. There's no plus 15 as wells. Let's see. There's a plus 15 bears. Think for... 16 million is a lot. I don't really know if I want to pay that right now. 33 million, we can get the Uria staff. Uh, I want a better staff. The as well is cheap, but there's nothing in between. I wish there was one of these in between. A little bit cheaper of a staff. Here's a, here's a $6 million one. It's a plus 8 to 10. I don't know which one it is, but that's a little bit fair of a price. There's nine of the Kriya staffs. And I want to I don't have 29 million to begin with, but I don't want nor do I want to spend 29 million. Ultimate Stid staffs is what I have on now. Let me take a look at daggers. The parrying dagger. See, they're parrying. Let's look at the upgraded parrying daggers. So we have a plus 11 one. That's a fair amount better, better but for 6 million, it's not crazy better. I think I'm going to take the better staff. I'm going to take the crazy staff. And then we'll just have to worry about organically getting better armor and stuff. I think that's the way I want to do it. I think that's the way we're going to do it. So... Let's see here. Was it Sella? Yeah, it was Sella that has a plus 15. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this up. I'll pay whatever they're asking for it. And so there we go. We're down to 5 million, which I'm fine with. I have stuff on pre-order that I can obviously sell. So it's not a huge, it's not a huge deal. But we can take that out. And whatever we got here, move those in. All right. So now we can list these items. So we'll do that real quick. Um, oh yeah, the rings. Oops. Sell two of these. And these should sell. Get our get our money up a little bit. I'm happy with our money, but uh, I really wanted a better item on this character. So we're going to pick up the better staff here. I'll go ahead and equip that. And it gets us up to 73 attack. I think that's good. What? Gets us at least to a comparable, um, not comparable, but a, but, but a decent attack on this character that we don't have to worry about probably for a long time. I mean, this staff's going to hold us for till we're levels in the 50s, so I, I'm, I'm happy where we are. We'll just need to upgrade the rest of our equipment as we go, which I don't think is too big of a deal. I actually have a decent amount of money on here. What's 23... So 200,000 is 10. That's like 430,000. Uh, almost have 1 million in those right there, so that's nice. But we'll take care of we'll take care of that later. I'm just trying to build up. I'm looking forward to getting to an end game area to build up cash uh, that we can transfer over to this character. Um, so it's not as much of a grind. I mean, obviously, I still need to kit out my sorceress. I want to get my care my sorceress kitted out. Try to approach somewhere in the 200 range for her. Like, uh, high, I need higher defense and I need higher attack. I don't need too much higher defense to get to 200 DP, but I need a fair amount to get close, to, even close to 200 AP. I don't even know if it's possible with, with the weapons. It, it's got to be possible because there's that ogre ring, and the ogre ring is worth, like, 35 or something like that. How much is that worth? Real quick, while we're... While we are really eight million dollars, that's not bad. Um, accessories, rings. Oh, the ogre ring is gone. Someone posted an ogre ring, but someone must have bought that ogre ring, which is crazy to me. I think it was like ninety mil or something like that. All right, so we need to find out more. We killed a large portion of this episode with uh, buying a new staff, but. I think it was worth it. 
All right, Bree Tree Ancient Ruins. This looks familiar. It's as if these artifacts were carved to resemble the Black Spirit. These ruins look very old. Bizarre statue. This isn't... Th or isn't this exciting? <laughs> the shape and appearance of this ancient artifact look just like me. Perhaps the ancient civilization worshipped me as their god. What? I can dream, can't I? Let's see if I'm right and talk to the archaeologist Karsanov. Uh, recommended. Black Spirit's gift. Probably should pick that up. We got an ornament. Is that a... I don't actually know what this is for. I have one of them on my main character, and obviously now I have this one. Talk to the exploration team at the Bree Tree Ruins. Alright. I don't feel like I was level 36 on my main character when I got here. I feel like I'm doing way better in the leveling department. Probably because I kill stuff quicker and it just works out that it's easier that I level up quicker because I'm killing so much stuff. Alright, investigator. Damn, it's stuck. Oh, I talked to the wrong person. <laughs> a a exploration team. I, I just followed the exploration team. Are you here to find the exploration team? Head up to the tower. Martha Kean is in charge of the exploration team. I, I will get back to work now. Okay. Martha. Where art thou? I like this costume we bought. Obviously, I kind of wish I would have waited, but I don't know how often they're going to release outfits. So they're going to get my money. I mean, I, I understand that I dedicated money to this game as soon as I bought it. Like, I'm a lot in money to this game because I'm a degenerate. But I kind of wish I could have just held off for a couple days. It could have been a lot better. What a mess. The longer you live, the more strange things you see. No matter how you slice it, things just keep getting weirder. Well, I guess this is the golden age of archaeology, at least. Rumors about a mysterious artifact. We've come to the right place, but I don't have much to tell you. I'm having a hard time with my research because these ancient weapons suddenly get in the way. Although they are also part of the research, it's hard to find someone who knows how to fight around here. Phew, I didn't think it'd be this hard to find competent people. You said you wanted to know the truth about the ruins, right? Very well, but first you'll have to help me collect some data. I'm sure you've seen a few of them already, but there are many ancient weapons all over the place that are still up and running. Destroy these ancient weapons and gather objects that I can study. Anything is fine, just bring me anything that looks interesting to you. I need tons of stuff, the more the better. Do you think you can handle that? Then hurry and get going, there isn't much time left. Is double edged. All right. Better left alone if you can't handle it. We need to defeat ancient weapons in the breach. We need 60, 60 enemies. Okay. I can handle that. I can get that done with this witch character. I actually think this is one of the harder ones. It's one of the more time consuming ones because I don't think these guys cluster as much as normal enemies. I mean, they cluster. But I don't think it's as much as, like, oh, some of these enemies that you fight, they, like, cluster. There's, like, nine of them together. But I guess not too bad. We already got eight down. This new staff is definitely going to help out. I mean, there's no way to slice or dice it. We're killing things really fast. There's just no slicing and dicing that this is going to go a lot better because of this upgraded staff. It's what you get for having two characters, I guess. I mean, obviously, I probably should have used that 17 mil or whatever this cost me on my main character. That probably was the intelligent decision. But, you know, sometimes for a little bit of fun and quality of life, I, I like to upgrade a second character. And this character plays different. We're doing a lot of stuff on it. I feel like it was worth it. way there. Uh, there's some of these enemies don't count. 
we need to go... We need to loop back around, because some of these enemies aren't counting. And that's just pointless, so let's go back. I have too many enemies here that just don't count. You count, though. There's 34 out of 60. Let's get back to groups. Yeah, back here, these guys are all... Actual enemies we need to kill. Can I take out my staff, please? Yeah. Get my mana back. Need to remember the next time I'm in a town to pick up more mana potions. Not that I'm running too low, but I am running... I am going to run out, I mean... I do have a little bit of a limited supply. Let's go. Can I fit through that gap? Thank you. 49. They're a little bit more bunched up than I thought, but they still are a little bit separated. It's not as egregious as some of these areas where I can, like, light them up and kill five guys with one shot. This one is a little bit more. Find the enemies that you can find and kill them. Okay. So let's go back. We need to turn the quest in. Ooh, we've got a big enemy here. That's what I want. Give me that extra experience. Ooh, some silver bars. Nice. We'll take that. Let's head back to that lady and turn this quest in. i going to fill up my mana along the way. Make sure I'm ready for the Bree Tree um, boss, because we know that's coming up. Throat's a little bit dry. Take a couple of drinks. All right, time to turn this quest in, as well as I'm going to turn the Black Spirit quest in once we get to the top as well. Just get that out of the way. And that stuff is so expensive, the range, the or just the Lar RC and stuff in general, so expensive. All right. Whoa, how did you find all these? I'm starting to feel like proper exploration, just a man's a good mercenary. You have surely opened my eyes, adventurer. Ha ha ha, my research will go so much faster thanks to you. What was that? Have humans ever worshipped the Black Spirit? Where in the world did you hear that from? Here we go. Boss time. Took some time, but I have some good results. We knew those these defense mechanisms were implemented to protect the ruins from outsiders. That was it, though. We had no I we had had no idea how to activate them until now. Finally, the data you provided gave us the clue we needed. Head to the place I marked to learn more about the guard towers. I don't need the other parts. I just need the core that controls the ground tower or the guard towers. There's nothing to worry about. The contraption itself is ancient, so we should be fine. Thanks again for your help. The yeah, ancient, the ancient, oh, oh, my ass. Oh. It looks at least a few hundred. All right, let's do this boss fight time. Where am I? Where is my character going? My character was going to another dimension. All right, here we go. Oh, I need to move forward. Just a wee bit. There we go. All right, let's party. A little bit of a little, little lag here. A little lag in the cutscene. Back it up. Ooh, I, I can't actually see the health bar. Most of these bosses, I can see the, the health bars. Shoot it, please. Shoot it. Thank you. Can I do my attack? Not letting me do the attack I want. There's a specific attack that I want. 
Am I not even hitting my guard tower that I was supposed to be hitting? I was, like, hitting that other dude. I'm just gonna do the chain lightning. I don't know what it's doing. It's, like, down for the count. There we go. Now it's getting itself up. I was like, all right, hello. Are you going to react or are you just going to sit there and take it? Chain lightning drains your stuff so fast. It's kind of crazy. If I just go in here and slap it around, get my mana back. Well, you can really slap that really quick. But there's the summon guard tower down, so we can turn it in now, as well as complete the Black Spirit gift. Let's go back to turn the quest in. And as I'll say in the next video, this quest will go, or this episode will be a little bit shorter. I have to get up in the morning uh, early to go to a convention with some friends. And so I won't be able to stay up as late as I usually can to record. Still have a couple of other things I need to get done tonight. Um, and so I need to cut these episodes just a few minutes shorter than normal. So this will be the end of the episode here. We'll talk to Martha and then call it. This looks older than I thought. I didn't think this contraption would function properly as it's so old. The craftsmanship never ceases to amaze me. Now that we have the core, we should be able to find out more about the entire ruins. Thank you. Now it all makes sense. The source of energy reverberating in the ruins is connected to a certain point underground. The core you brought back confirmed my hypothesis. Unfortunately, I cannot enter the underground cave. No one who's gone has come back the same. This is why Calfian soldiers begin preventing anyone from entering. You might be able to, though. After all, you did destroy those ancient weapons with ease. I will let the guards know you're headed over there. How exciting. The greatest adventure of all time off to reveal the mysteries of the cave. All right, so that even works for a really good uh, spot to end this video. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will catch you guys later on today with the Sorceress main playthrough or back here tomorrow for more Witch walkthrough. I'll catch you guys then. Peace.